All right, everybody, I'm gonna show you how to remote desktop from this Mac into this Mac. We're gonna be able to copy files back and forth. I'm also gonna show you how to do it externally from outside your network. So you'll be able to do it while you're on your network and off your network. So it's gonna be awesome. Let's dive in. Just wanna throw a shout out to all my subscribers. Man, I can't thank you all enough. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to get subscribed so you don't miss this awesome content. And thank you so much, everybody, for all the support. All right, so to set up a remote desktop connection, what we need to do is we need to enable it on this Mac, and then we're gonna use the screen sharing app on this Mac to connect to it. So let's start on this Mac. We're gonna open up System Preferences, and we're gonna go down into the sharing pane. And then within the sharing pane, you're gonna see this remote management tab. If I were to enable this, it would allow me to connect to it with the screen sharing app, but it actually enables more than I really need to enable on the system. But if I have the remote desktop app, ARD, Apple Remote Desktop, on this Mac, which actually offers more capabilities than the screen sharing app, then I would definitely need to have this checked. What I would do is I would check this, I would click on Observe at the top. If I hold down the Option key, it'll select them all, and then that would be it. I would click OK, and we're set. I don't want to use this feature because I'm only using the screen sharing app. I'm just going to do screen sharing up here. And as you can see, if I zoom in here, this is the IP address on the local network for this Mac. All right. We're going to keep note of that one. Zoom out. Now I'm going to come over to this Mac and set up the screen sharing. So I want to open the screen sharing app. I am going to do a command space bar to initiate spotlight and do screen sharing, hit enter. If you're wondering where this app is actually residing, you can hold down the command key and click on it. And it'll show you the folder that it's in. And then if I want to see the actual path, I can hit control click on it and it'll tell you where that app is actually sitting okay so now that I've got this screen sharing open I'm gonna type in the IP address that we have in this window which is 192.168.1.13 hit connect All right, so now you see that I am totally controlling this window. And actually, uh, this one was zoomed too. So now you can see that I'm completely controlling this window, but I'm still on the local computer network. So what I need to do is I need to set up port forwarding on my router so that when I hit the outside IP address for my router, it sends the screen sharing uh, port information to the computer that I want. So all traffic is going to hit the 5900 port and it's going to be directed to this computer here. So let's get that set up now and we'll be able to remote into it from external. All right, so I need to get the external IP address on this computer as well. So let's grab that right now by typing in myip.com to get my external IP address. All right, so I logged into my Netgear Nighthawk router. I clicked on the advanced tab and I found the port forwarding. This is what you need to find in your router uh, login for you to be able to port forward these screen sharing and Apple remote desktop ports to the computer that you want. 
So I want to add a server, and that's the computer I'm trying to reach. So it's 192.168.1.13. I'm going to click Add. All right, so let's edit this one and rename it and give it the right ports. So up here, I'm going to name it 5900. And that's the port that I'm going to use. 5900, I'm going to hit Tab. And you're going to see that it's going to send all traffic coming in on port 5900 to this device, the 13 device that we were just remoted into. So let's save this. As of right now, we're good enough for um, Apple Remote Desktop and screen sharing to remote in. If you want the reporting feature of Apple Remote Desktop, then you have to add one more port. So we'll add one more of these. I'm going to click Add. And I'm going to click Edit Service. And this is going to be... 3283, 3283, and we are set up. All right, so now we have port forwarding set up on this device. We can go back and screen share in using the external IP address. Let's do this. All right, so we're going to close out this screen sharing connection. All right, I'm going to connect to my hotspot so that I'm actually external. And now we are going to connect to this Mac, the screen sharing app again. Type in that IP address, the external one now. Sorry. As you can see, I'm hitting it because it wouldn't have brought up a message. Boom, and that is how you set up a full remote access. I can honestly do all sorts of stuff. So I could drag this file over here, copy it over, I can copy files back and forth. This is screen sharing, it's super awesome. And I hope you liked the video. You guys make sure to get subscribed and I do thank you all for the support. You guys have an amazing week and I will see you in the next video. Take care.